The phrase cat lover has taken new heights by the self-proclaimed ultimate crazy cat lady who turned her life upside down for one sole purpose. After years of being an urban legend, she finally opens her sanctuary and home to an exclusive interview. As cameramen approach the land, they immediately know they're in over their heads. In 1992, while living in California, Linnea's father asked her to help him find some new cats to replace two cats of her father's who had passed away. Excited with the task, Linnea went straight to the closest animal shelter and ended up bringing back 15 kittens instead. By the end of that year, she had rescued and rehomed 96 different cats. It was at that point that she realized there was no turning back. Linnea fell in love with these felines. I like cats because they're independent, they are beautiful, they are just graceful, and I enjoy watching them, Latanzio told Barcroft TV. Just a few purring friends weren't enough. She couldn't stop there. When I first started this endeavor, I was out of my own pocket for seven years. I spent my retirement, I sold my car, I sold my wedding ring, she explains. But still, she had no idea what she got herself into. In 1993, she became a veterinarian technician to help keep the animal's medical costs down and learn how to improve the lives of her cats better. But the number of cats continued to grow, and Linnea couldn't handle it all on her own. She had to find something more significant. She had to seek some kind of help. As years started passing by, her love for these felines kept increasing rapidly. She began introducing the idea of becoming a nonprofit to help kittens in need have a safe place to call home. Finally, her goal for the moment was accomplished. She started her sanctuary called the Cat House of Kings. But Latanzio had a lot more goals to achieve. The Cat House of Kings is the largest, six acres, no cage, no kill sanctuary for feral and abandoned cats in California. The refuge currently houses 800 adult cats and 300 kittens, and even a handful of peacocks, all which can roam freely through the land as cat-proof fencing around the perimeter enables that. Still though, that was not enough space. In 2004, a generous donor left Linnea her estate, hoping it would help her in any way possible. And it did. All the profits from that sale enabled her to buy the neighboring land, and she expanded the grounds to a whopping 12 acres. But her feline craze didn't stop there. I started taking in cats, but it wasn't my intention to have a thousand plus cats. But it has happened, one step at a time, she explains. As Linnea kept doing what she loved most, there were also many financial problems that came with having to take care of so many animals. Keeping up with food, litter, maintenance, staffing, vets, and other medical expenses made the total cost of $1.6 million a year. She had no idea how she was going to continue doing this. Teresa Angel, a staff member of the sanctuary, explains how they start their day at 4 a.m. They start feeding the cats, which usually takes from 30 minutes to an hour to feed everyone. Frank Lavers, another member of the team, states how, when he began at the sanctuary, he wasn't a cat person in the least, but when working with them, he got attached to them. Every cat has a different characteristic. You get to know them, they get to know you, and kind of wait for you when you walk through the gate. It's pretty cool, Lavers explains. As much as Linnea loves her cats, she knows that this is too much. Her aim and goal are to rehome most of the cats and not keep them for herself. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Since the founding of the sanctuary, Latizio and her team have saved over 24,000 cats and 7,000 dogs and is also responsible for 40,000 animals being spayed or neutered over the years. But still, overwhelmed with all the cats, she has had to give up her comfortable life to accommodate her new furry friends. Bit. The overwhelming and population of cats that, moved I Linnea up, out of her um, main with, house. In my bedroom, there wasn't room for me anymore. I ended up with sixty some cats in my bedroom with dogs, and I just said, "That's it. I move out." Latizio recalls. Soon after, she moved out to a trailer home, which lives on her land. But some have even begun to invade her trailer. When I moved into the trailer, I swore it would be a cat-free zone, but I currently have twenty kittens and four puppies in there. I went from a 4,200-square-foot, five-bedroom home with a pool, a wet bar, and a view to the river 
to a 1,600-square-foot mobile home with a view of a rusty metal shed, Linnea says. The spacious house is now pure feline territory. It has a kitchen where the cats are fed by staff, a wood stove room for them to keep warm, an indoor kitty garden to help accommodate cats who have spent their lives indoors, and even a condo room with beds, food, water, and benches for the cats to sleep on. On the sanctuary, there is an ICU, a hospital, a kitten quarantine, a senior quarantine where the critical cats stay, a vet that comes once a week to check on all the animals, plus they also take animals to the vet every day for checkups. And they also have seven vet techs on staff. Even though Linnea's love for cats is out of this world, she still understands the difficulties she must go through every day to keep up with her sanctuary. She aims to find them all new homes and currently has over 500 up for adoption who are friendly and ready to go. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.